uh, getting your kids up and out of the house in the morning, oh, can I just say challenge? Just challenge. Landon, eat your breakfast. I'm not hungry. Landon, eat your breakfast. I'm not hungry. Landon, please eat your breakfast. Please tell me there's somebody else out there that goes through that same battle. So registered dietitian Michelle Dudash came up with some kid-friendly breakfast that we can make ahead of time so that we don't have the process of making it and then the uh, denial of the food, you know, the, the hunger strike in the morning. Right. Thank it's, you so much for coming in with oh, this segment. It's always great to see you, Stephanie. And that's true. You're not alone because 60% of parents with kids the ages of 3 through 17 admit their, their children skip breakfast. It's, and it's not sometimes because the parents aren't trying. It's the kids just don't want to do it for whatever reason. Right. I mean, there's distraction. There's cartoons. And there's, you know, sleeping. Oh, I've turned so. those off. I just don't even know. I know. So, so. offer, some, offer yeah. some advice. And what right. can we do to make it more yes. fun? So all of these things you can prepare the night before. And so the first group here we have, these are things that can go into a cup or a fun package. Um, so this first thing here, this is Seneca oatmeal and fruit. And this is actually a brand I work closely with. And this is great because you pop off the lid, pop it in the microwave for 45 seconds, and you have oatmeal. There's no water. You don't have to water you don't have to add milk it has this beautiful fruit in there juicy peaches the juicy apples and they can take it with them and I think as parents yeah. we're always looking for something that dietitians can can mm -hmm. really kind of put their their stamp of approval on mm -hmm. because you at the same time you dietitians you tell us <laughs> oh. Watch the overprocessed foods. Mm -hmm, Watch right. the you know, convenience mm -hmm. foods. So when you say something works, why is this work and something else like a toaster strudel sure. or something well, doesn't? Well, this is made with oats. It has the fruit. We have, I mean, so it has two food groups already in there that okay. are nutritious. And so what I would do also to round out this meal, I would pair this maybe with a little milk box and maybe um, some extra fruit if they have a more uh, ravenous appetite. Okay. So I think that's a good one. Now here's another one. I love this. This is homemade breakfast snack mix. And you can make a batch ahead. This here we have some bagel, cinnamon raisin bagel chips. We have some raisins and then pistachios. Those. So with mm. the pistachios, yeah, very yummy. You can put it in a cute little cup. They can take it with them. Pistachios, of course, those have magnesium, fiber, potassium, nutrients that kids aren't getting enough of. And they're, you know, they're just fun to eat. Kids enjoy the excitement of cracking open those shells. So I, you know, I think that's another really um, quick, easy way what to get I, to What I love about that idea mm -hmm. is if they've missed the, basically the window of opportunity at mm -hmm. the kitchen table in the morning and you know they didn't eat enough, you can throw that in the car and say, you know what, absolutely. finish this before we get to school. Well, absolutely. And a lot of, I mean, all of these items actually are designed to, you could take them with take you. Take them fuss, on the go. No fuss, yeah. no mess. Here's another one. This you can put into a cup. This is our breakfast Yummy. sundae. So this actually, this has frozen fruit in it. So there's frozen blueberries, frozen raspberries. So if you keep, if they're cold, um, if, so if you whipped it the morning of, it's like a sundae. You can make it the night before as and well. And we're just talking layers of frozen fruit and then a little bit of Greek, uh, yogurt. Greek yogurt. My favorite, you know, I love, yes. we all love that on the show. I was going to say <laughs> yogurt. No, 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 no. This is Greek, it's Greek. yogurt. It's so it's creamier. It's, <laughs> it's actually pretty close to taste like frozen yogurt. And then we have some sliced almonds on top. Now, I wonder it, how much of this is about what we call it to the kids mm -hmm. to make them eat because you know that's a that's a yogurt par parfait in the adult world but for kids if we call it a Sunday breakfast Sunday a breakfast Sunday ten bucks says at least yes. They'll try it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And, not, so, and I'm yeah, sure they'll eat it that. Fun. We're keeping it fun. Okay, so these are nice mm -hmm. and um, Yeah, so these the go. are cutie quiche cakes. Cutie so we're thinking cakes. outside the breakfast sandwich. It doesn't have to be the drive through This has egg. It has a little ham. There's some. Um, now, the secret ingredient, you'll never guess what makes it orange like that. Got to guess. <laughs> Butter, butternut squash? Very close. Very, well, actually, yeah, it's, it's, it's frozen squash. So it could, have been, it could be butternut squash. It could be acorn squash. The only reason I know that is because I just made some baby food. Oh, <laughs> last time was I'm breath. impressed. And so I'm like, that's about the color She's, of the baby food I made last weekend. <laughs> okay. And this recipe, actually, this comes from the book No Wine with Dinner. I love okay. this from the meal makeover mom. So definitely check that out. Now, with these, you can make this the night before. You can make them in a big batch, put them in the freezer. So the morning of, you're just popping it in the microwave and go. Okay. So Tell really me a little easy. bit more about some of the recipes in here. Oh, these are all real. They're, they're actually all kid approved, mom approved because they're nutritious. They're made actually by, they're created by registered dietitians. And uh, they're actually, it's great because there's testimonials in here from the actual moms Oops, who tested sorry. these recipes. So uh, beautiful photos and just really fun. I mean, I want to eat this food. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> there's her, there's I her, use uh, you this know, book. You can tell. <laughs> her electric bill. <laughs> Fox bills gotta yeah. come out of the next page. <laughs> yeah, so it's I, really uh, just a really great resource and really just great ideas, fun ideas. And with these um, little quiche cakes, you could serve them with a little ketchup, little uh, maple syrup on the side, just a little, just a little dab, 
and and uh, it's going to just make it that more fun for your kids. Veggie to eat. patch tofu pie. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what is it about the way kids eat? Mm -hmm. I, Landon went through a stage where if I put a toothpick instead of a fork, he would eat anything, anything, anything something about a eating skewer. on a stick. Well, I know. I just went to the Renaissance Festival. It's like anything on a stick is just so much, <laughs> more, so much more fun, isn't it? <laughs> so we have got cheese and fruit on here. So you've got a little savory with the cheese. We've got the fruit. Uh, it's just a really, really great combination. Mm -hmm. Recommend just cutting off the tip so we don't have the, of the skewer so we're not, we don't have sword fights or anything dangerous after. Good point. They Good point. are finished with those skewers. Now, and then the final uh, tip I have for you is when it comes to granola bars, people always ask, are they okay to eat? Should we eat them or not? Well, they kind of get a bad rap. We've kind of got yeah. it ingrained in us mm -hmm. that now they're not really that fabulous. It all depends on the ingredients. So I what say, are we looking yeah, for? So the first thing you want to do is look. Arranged very special in here for you. So, okay. Um, <laughs> so what you, what you want to do is look at the ingredient list and make sure the first thing you see is oats or fruit. Organic or nuts. rolled oats yes. in a cliff bar. Okay. Instead of sugar. You don't want to see sugar as the first ingredient. Maybe it's sugar, maybe it's honey. Now maybe the second it's... ingredient is organic cane juice. So that is still sugar. So and that's the thing with all of these bars. They need some type of sweetener to stick it, to all, stick together. it all together. So most at least almost all of them out there. So at least make sure that the first ingredient is not sugar. And how, like, how many grams of sugar mm -hmm. per, per granola bar mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, Michelle Dudash approved? Well, well, it does. It depends on what's all in there because if there's actually, let's say, dried fruit in there, that still will have sugar on the lab on the in ingredient, um, the nutrition facts. So I would say you want to try to avoid a bar that's over 12 grams of sugar total. Okay. Now, not good for kids. Right. Um, and the other thing you want to look for is the fiber. You want to look for three grams of fiber per serving or more. Or more, yes, okay. absolutely. So those are some brands that I like. The Kashi has some good ones. Uh, kind Fruit and Nut Bars, Cliff Bar Kids. Those are um, brands that you can find at your regular grocery stores in the natural food section. Actually, all of these foods you can find in your grocery store. Actually, these I forgot to mention. These are available at Walmart right now as well. So foods you can find everywhere. Um, and so the oatmeal and cups at Walmart. Yes, yeah, so you can get this at Walmart. Other Honey, make sure you pick locations. those up when you yes. go on Sunday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he loves to grocery shop. <laughs> Gotta love that, That's right? Good. Yeah. I know, That's a I know. <laughs> a total time saver. <laughs> Give me the list, honey. Okay, yeah. here it is. Yeah. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Um, we have a, a, a recipe for this one yes, that we're going to make absolutely. available. Mm -hmm. And the link will be on the abc15.com. Okay, website. we'll link to this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect.